One of my diseases of focus has been Castleman's disease. Uh, it's uh, a rare disease that's occurrence is quite infrequent both in America and outside America. Uh, and it is a disease that involves lymphoid, lymphoid organ. It could be classified as lymphoproliferative disease. Um, it's not a malignancy, but uh, it presents uh, mainly with a lot of symptoms. Uh, patients come with fatigue, uh, night sweats fever, um, body ache, sleepiness um, and there are all varieties of levels of severity of the symptoms. Uh, some people are almost bedridden because they feel really tired, don't feel like getting out of the bed. Um, others have milder symptoms, they go about doing their normal work in life but uh, well in the afternoon I need to sleep, that's what their complaint could be. So there's a really a spectrum of symptoms but, uh, but mainly the symptoms are sy systemic like this. Um, and then they present sometimes with palpable lymph node, which is one of the presenting uh, signs of the disease that they have lymph node enlargement. Um, they go to their doctors and quite often for sometimes they have not been treated or diagnosed with the disease. They are being treated because you are working too hard, you are not sleeping well, this and that. Eventually if the lymph node is observed, that's the first sign that leads to patients to be evaluated. Um, sometimes anemia is one of the same, uh, one of the laboratory finding and that leads to evaluation. But with whatever symptoms, the presenting other signs includes enlargement of lymph node which could be just in one of the areas like in the neck or under the arm or in the leg or sometimes in the abdomen and chest which can only be found by you know, doing CT scans or some other testing. Um, and then when we look at other possibilities, occasionally patients have skin problems, not very specific, there could be all different types of skin problems from just nevi to development of psoriatic type of symptoms, they can have pemphigus around mouth in rare cases which is usually more aggressive disease and sometimes they come with neurological symptoms, almost one third of the patients have neurological symptoms which would be um, in the form of neuropathy or some vague neurological symptoms etc. And the cause and effect are not very clear why do they have this but they are present and we believe they could be immune mediated phenomena. Now when we look at these symptoms whether they are obvious or not when they are evaluated the diagnosis of Kesselman is connected with some of the laboratory findings. Um, first of all patient could have anemia, they can have high platelet count, they could have low albumin, their immunoglobulins are elevated in what we call polyclonal gammopathy, so it's not one type of immunoglobulin, it's not like a cancer or myeloma, it's polyclonal immunoglobulin increase. Um, they also uh, have quite specifically increase in interleukin-6, which I would not call diagnostic for the disease, but it is really closely connected with the disease itself, so increase IL-6. And as a surrogate for IL-6, we do what is called CRP, C-reactive protein, which is also elevated in this uh, disease connected with their IL-6. So this cluster of laboratory finding would help steer one towards diagnosis of Castleman. None of these by themselves are diagnostic. So if you get high IL-6 doesn't mean he has Castleman's disease, there are many other causes for it. But in Castleman disease you could find it elevated. So what is really diagnostic of the disease? It's a lymph node biopsy. So you do take the lymph node out and look it under microscope to see how it looks. And that if it's diagnosed by histology to be Castleman, then that's a disease connected with Castleman's.